Wanna go her up? Should I go? Oh god. Come on. Come on, me. She's like, no. Just no. There she goes. There she is. It's mama. <laughs> Raven. Raven. Where are you? Show yourself. You are aware. You are awesome. You are advanced. You are <laughs> brave. Beautiful. Bold. You are brilliant. Is benevolent a good word? Is that one bad? Is it maleficent or benevolent? Benevolent. Benevolent is a good one. Maleficent is a bad one. You are blessed. You are clairvoyant. Ooh. You are clairaudient. Clairsentient. Claire cognizant. The last one, clairvoyant sees, Claire sentient feels, Claire cognizant knows, Claire audience hears. You are calm. You are conscious. You are divinely guided. G, you're good hearted. Glorious. Glorious. And gorgeous. That was what I was looking for. H. 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 Happy H. and humorous and healthy. I. Inquisitive. Intelligent. Intuitive. Innovative. Insightful. K. Kind. Uh, kissable. You are lighthearted. Oh, I like that one. Oh, optimistic. Observant. Open hearted. Solution oriented. You are a voracious, voracious reader. <laughs> T-U-V-W, you are wise and witty. You are whimsical and welcoming. wonderful. <laughs> You're wonderful and welcoming. <laughs> yes. You have x-ray vision. You're an excellent communicator. <laughs> you can be a little zany too. Friends are your alphabet affirmation. Do you try to go poop? I need just to poop. Come on, guys. Let's poop. Quick background on this. We are not potty training her. Basically, as a lot of moms I'm sure can relate to, whenever I'd go to the bathroom, I got tired of holding her. And so instead of putting her on the ground, I got her this little potty that she goes ahead and sits on. Reason why I said I think she has to poop, I'll get into in a minute. After we hang out in bed for a while, we usually go out to our main room. Eric goes ahead and preps her oatmeal while I either stretch, do yoga, or spin in the morning. And so just kind of both of us able to keep an eye on her, but he's really kind of running point because if I'm spinning, I obviously can't be paying attention to her. So as he's kind of prepping the oatmeal, I'll let you guys in on a little bit. How come I said I think she has to go to the bathroom when she was crying is because when we first started her on solids, we just kind of followed her cues and didn't really understand or know that you want to start babies on a smaller portion of food when first introducing it so that their gut can develop good bacteria. She ended up eating such a large portion, her gut didn't have time to catch up. And whenever she would have a bowel movement for about the first week and a half after solid, she would cry. Our pediatrician recommended we do one ounce of water with one ounce of prune juice a day. And we did that for a few days in her sippy cup, but we weren't always great about making sure she would finish it all the way or I got paranoid that she was filling up too much on that when she should be wanting more breast milk. So instead what we started doing was mixing a little bit of my breast milk and a little bit of prune juice into her oatmeal each morning and cutting back from the two ounces to just an ounce which made it a lot easier. This is her sippy cup I mentioned, it's the Munchkin 360. We really like it because when you flip it over nothing spills. It's technically for a year and up. It's dentist recommended because it's spoutless. We decided to give it to her earlier just so that she could start working on the scale because she 
is younger, I do have to hold it for her sometimes, but she has figured out how to drink from it. It's just past nine, Reagan's down for her first nap, and I got this box from Raised Real. It is whole real foods for your baby. They come pre-packaged. The recipes sound amazing. I honestly want to eat them. It comes with 12 in a box, and basically, no matter what stage your eater is at, they have you covered. You can serve them as they are as finger foods, mash them, or puree them. Just keep them in the freezer and heat them up when ready. We're gonna hold off on these though for a little bit because Regan's been having an allergy. So we don't know if she's allergic to avocados or latex. She had some skin issues early on, so we're going really slow with introduction of food. We did like sweet potatoes for an entire week. We did avocado for two days. We gave her oatmeal like one time around four months, but honestly it was a pain in the ass. So we held off on that and she just kind of like spit it all out anyway. She wasn't really ready for food at that point. Right when she turned six months is when she started showing signs of being ready for food. I am going to go ahead and get some work done during her first nap of the day. I took over her old nursery as my office and she's in her new room, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys next month. <laughs> You gotta change your sheets. You got all sorts of sweet potato in there. I'm gonna finish a couple emails while you play, and then we'll give you lunch. And then on the floor, we have our Love Every Play Gym. This little mirror came in one of our monthly play kits. So on one side, it has chalk drawings, on the other side, it's a mirror, and she loves that. It's probably one of her favorite things. Yes, it is, right? All of these are from the Love Every Play kits. This little book that has all sorts of different sensory things. It's some cheeks, different textures, a little wooden board book from Love Every, this little thing. And I usually just set up here and let her play for anywhere from 10 to 40 minutes, depending on what time she got up from that nap. And that way I can finish up some work. Sometimes Eric will take her and play. Some days she's better playing by herself than other days. I was really freaked out when it started happening to us and figured it may be good to put in and maybe help some other moms if they struggle with it. Basically, she would cry like this during any bowel movement after starting solids. Yes, whether she was in her diaper or on this potty, and as you saw earlier, she was very happy on the potty. It hurt me to see her hurt, but I would just try to stay calm and teach her how to take deep breaths through it all. From what the doctor and other baby specialists I talked to told me is that this can be a totally normal reaction after starting solids. You just want to make sure they are not straining for more than 10 minutes. She would typically only strain for three, thankfully. Any more poops left? She just pooped. That was when she was crying the most. Um, she usually starts to cry right before she's gonna poop right now. Since the transition to solid, I think she may have a little bit more left because she didn't poop at all yesterday, so. So my office is currently a mess, so I am gonna be shooting on this wall because this is what's currently happening over there. Um, what I used to film, I use this ring light, which I'll link in the description to record with this right now. Setting up to record my breastfeeding essentials video. So it's now three o'clock. I switched over to my iPhone because I just tried recording a YouTube video and my camera kept malfunctioning and dying. So I don't know what's going on with that, but now we are on my iPhone for the rest of this day in the life. Like I said, it's about three o'clock. A lot of the times we're really lucky. Reagan will wake up and um, not cry. So my guess was she's probably been awake for a while because I put her down at noon and now it's three. So I put her down at like 12.30. So let's go see what the heck she's doing. What you doing, kid? You don't make a peep? You're just hanging out? What's going on? This is the hatch app. You open it up. You go on over to weight. Click the scale. Make sure that it is zeroed out, which it is. Once you put your baby on it, you click start a feeding. You wait for your baby to stop squirming. Click got it, and then we'll 
we'll weigh her again after the feeding. Take her, go back, wait for it to connect, make sure it's zeroed out. Click calculate feeding. <laughs> Hi. Hi, squirmy wormy. Good job. Shape five ounces. Save it. Normally I don't weigh her. When she was like a month, two months, early on, I weighed her a lot. I was nervous about whether or not she was getting enough. Um, and I was honestly just curious too. But now I kind of just trust that she is getting all that she needs. I usually nurse her until she's like playing with me. So constantly popping on and off. I try to like set aside at least six minutes on each side. Just keep offering it to her. Generally though, I don't stress about it. I trust that she's not fussing, she's not crying, she's good. As far as making sure she gets enough of what she eats in the introduction of solids, I don't want her to prematurely wean. And I only feed her four times a day as you guys clearly see in this schedule and it's been like that for a while. So I always try to, with the exception of her last nursing session of the day, feed nurse first and then feed her so the 7 a.m feed and then an hour later give her oatmeal her 11 a.m feed and then offering her because she's been having the issues with her poop when she's crying offering her the prune juice and water mix that our pediatrician recommended about an hour after that one now i'll offer it to her about half an hour after before her nap and that way it's really making sure she's getting full on nursing first and then feeding her and then for the last session of the day an hour before her last nursing session i give her dinner where are you guys going we're going to take our last nap of the day Aww. coming in to say good night <laughs> happy baby <laughs> oh so our house is a disaster not because it's always a disaster i don't have excuse for the shoes but you know how like when you're doing a house project you just don't want on to deal with anything else that's where this is where we're at with this room the whole house suffers as a result so that you pretty much create an entire sales page with you know if, if we want to create an explainer video um if we want to put on sales material so while she's playing, <laughs> we're not doing back, back time tonight, so I figured I'd update you guys on that changing her schedule. Reagan developed a rash around like two months old, and she has a little bit of eczema. It mostly has gone away. Our pediatrician has had us do a bunch of different things. She had us doing bleach baths three times a week, but I was still giving her regular baths the other days. Over the last few weeks, I dropped it down to just the three bleach baths, which seemed to really, really help. Back from day one, the day she was born, we have always used and loved Walita products. Just like, they're the stuff that I use on my skin and I've trusted on hers. Really like my absolute favorite beauty brand. The pediatrician though recommended we switch off of that and use Baby Dove, their sensitive formula, which has been really good with eczema, and that she wanted us to use Aquaphor. I was never super pleased about all this. Baby Dove doesn't bother me, and it really did work. Her eczema went down a lot. Aquaphor freaked me out. Literally, anything that says keep out of reach of children, if swallowed, get medical help, and contact poison control, and it's made for babies concerns me. So I was not okay with this. Essentially, we were doing the bleach baths and this for a month, two months, and her rash did go away significantly, but it never stopped. And then she had us up the aquaphor to twice a day, and it did absolutely nothing. Out of curiosity, because I do love Walita products, I started putting Walita back on her, and it helped with her rash. That's my long-winded way of saying we're back to using Walita and we also still do use baby dove we kind of just bounce back and forth between the two it seems like if i keep her skin confused and away from a routine is what keeps the rash down the most so i usually just use my intuition okay we're going to use this okay we're going to use this today um so just don't keep anything too routine i know that was repetitive it's been a long day it's fine we're waiting for her to pick up food we're not cooking dinner tonight I'm tired, y'all. It's raining out now. I'm just ready. Call it a day almost. Almost, Reagan. Almost. Right, so, Reagan's starting on solid. What I do is I cook up a large batch of sweet potatoes for Reagan once a week, twice a week. I cut them into like french fry shape. I go ahead and put them into the oven 
shampoo at 400 with a little bit of olive oil and that's it for about an hour, hour and a half until they get really, really, really squishy as you guys saw. I just put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds and give it to her for dinner every night. And as you guys can see here, we still have Buddy Hospital Blanket. It is no secret. I stole a bunch of them from the hospital and we love them. It's what I nurse her on in our bed. That way she has things spit up. Those blankets are just so sturdy and durable and they are the perfect way to kind of like tarp her and protect her clothes so we put that over her and then we put her oxo bib on top of it and then she feeds herself we do not spoon feed her we really let her go ahead pick up her own food we will load like little spoons or like the num num utensils for her so that way she can you know feed herself with them but we focus on having mealtime be stress-free where she feels a part of and she does really great we've brought her to restaurants like this very little ends up on the floor the bib is fantastic and i'll link it below because it catches all the food and she has actually learned that so when she's out of food on her tray she actually goes into her bib now she's generally a pretty clean eater in the sense that she doesn't get a lot on the floor she houses her food and just constantly wants more so we have been kind of having to try to balance producing food slowly allowing her gut to i to adjust and ensuring that she still feels satisfied because let me tell you she loves 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 food happy baby what's up have a good day <laughs>